Hi everyone, I'm Flossie. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today we'll be looking into some mods for your Lovestruck expansion pack. I really love all the features that we got with Lovestruck but some of them could be slightly better and mods are here to help with that. So I'm going to be showing you a couple of mods that I found specifically for Lovestruck and you can find the links to all of them in the description. So I have my sim here, Tatiana Dial, who I used in one of my recent Lovestruck experiments. I'm going to link that video in the description but we're going to be trying out all of these mods with her. And the first mod that I want to show you is setting turn-offs and turn-ons in game by Lumpino because sometimes you just don't want to go into create a sim to pick any of those things and that's completely okay. So you can get that in game when you click on your sim and go into actions you have options here for attraction and you can actually auto assign turn offs and turn ons for all sims or just for your played household so if you set this to be like all unplayed households after you restart your game everyone's gonna have something generated and you can also do that for your played households as well or you can actually add and remove turn ons and turn offs which gives you this menu so you can view your sims already determined things here so let's see for Tatiana she actually has a turn on for taken sims academic skills and platinum hair turn off for hipster optimist and flirting so here you can kind of do pretty much everything you can add turn ons and turn offs so you have all of the categories that you would have in cast you have like everything here but also by categories so you have characteristics fashion hair color outfit color romance styles and way of life. So for example, if I change my mind and I don't want her to be turned on by academic skills, I can set that to be a turn off here and that's going to be changing things. So it's currently a turn off or literally anything else. If I want her to be turned off by argumentative sims and maybe also by ambitious sims, but I also want her to like boho fashion, I can add all of those. And when we view all of her preferences, everything has been added here. And the same way you can also remove things. So if I don't want her to be turned on by boho fashion, anymore and I don't want her to be turned off by flirting I can also get rid of that and you can also randomize for everything which I don't really want to do but it's a bit of a fun element of surprise another similar mod by Lumpino again is setting in-game boundaries so you don't have to go and cast for that either you can access it the same way by clicking on your sim going into actions and then you have set boundaries for everyone if you want to so you can auto assign them for everyone either your played households or unplayed households and that's effective after a restart or or you can set boundaries for this specific sim and you already have everything like everything that is selected already is grayed out but you could go into random as well but if you want to like kind of start fresh you can do that by clicking on default and then you can kind of select so i don't really want her to be jealous by flirting i don't think that she would really mind and maybe even not for kissing because i don't think that she would really care too much you can also set to be never jealous for anything so now that we have all of that selected we can actually go into her panel and see and her preferences you can see all the turn-offs and turn-offs that we did in the previous mod and also the relationship preferences so everything updates automatically but now we set everything up it's time to actually start dating let's open cupid's corner and i have the next mod here for you we have unlimited cupid's corner by zervo so i actually really love the limitations that we have on cupid's corner but i know that they might not be ideal for all of you so i wanted to show you this mod anyway so we actually have pretty much unlimited matches it went from Seven to 21 and we also have more freedom when it comes to refreshes so let's go into Tatiana's Cupid's Corner and see so I'm gonna have her just go for young adults and go into matches when you first open it it only has seven matches but when you refresh it's gonna be on 21 and you can refresh as many times as you want it doesn't really matter whatsoever which is amazing so let's see who is offered here I mean I could just like save Angela and maybe just some more people because we're also kind of less limited so so maybe I can also save Akira if we want to go and see him. Oh, we have Seven as well. She's one of your sims and she actually had a really unfortunate ending in my Lovestruck mini series. Let's save her just to kind of redeem her. So I saved a couple of sims. So let's go into that section and take a little look. So we have the remaining number of sims you can interact with today. That is three out of 20. So that is a lot more than it is by default. I actually can't remember the number, but I know that it's more. And total number of sims you can have saved in your save tab is 15 which I think is also increased but let's see I saved Akira, Angela, Dominic J, Dawn, Kenzo, 
and seven i'm thinking let's maybe go on a date with seven but i do have to tell you i had to scroll and refresh a lot of times to find these sims that i specifically picked for this so you can refresh a lot and i think that that is really great especially if you also have sims from the gallery here so you have literally unlimited options and this is so useful for especially storytelling if you want to find a specific sim and when you had the limitations of only seven and like the limited refreshes that felt basically impossible so this gives you a lot more freedom but we are on date with seven now and it's yeah. going kind of okay but we're not really seeing any flirtation going on here it's all kind of platonic so maybe we don't really want to go into flirting so another one of lupino's mods is definitely going to help with that so we can actually declare only wanting to hook up or only wanting to be friends and i can do that by going into date actions and then i have declare only wanting to hook up or declare only wanting to become friends i'm gonna go into hooking up first just to see how Seven's gonna take that. So she's asking her to only be able to hook up and Seven did agree they lost romance. They didn't really have it but she says all right that's fine with me. So if they did have romance they would completely lose it now but that actually opens up a different option. So if you go into romance into physical intimacy they already have a roof open here which they didn't have before because they haven't even kissed yet but when you declare only wanting to hook up Wuhu is immediately available. But let's go into completely a different direction and say you know what never mind Mind, I kind of only want to be friends. So let's see what is Seven going to say on this now. Again, she seems to be accepting it pretty well. If they had romance, they would lose it. And she says, if sparks aren't flying, they aren't flying. It's all right, but I'm not having a bad time. Let's stay and see if we can get along in a platonic matter. So that is a really, really good. But when you do that, you actually can't go into romance. Tatiana has declared that this date has to be friendly only. So maybe I'm actually just going to be ending this date early and try to find someone who can do a a little bit more than just friendship. Well, that was really quick. This time we're on a date with Dominic and he's already asking to become romantic partners, which is really perfect for the next mod that I want to show you, which is Lumpino's mod for satisfaction. So this mod allows you to only have romantic satisfaction start for sims who are in official relationships. So you don't really get satisfaction as soon as you have someone compliment your appearance or something. So this only has romantic satisfaction begin once your sims are dating or soulmates, married, any sort of official or meaningful relationship unlike just a casual flirt. So I'm gonna be accepting this question and they will officially start dating so we'll see the romantic satisfaction actually pop up for the first time for them instead of when they first started flirting. So we have romantic satisfaction actually beginning for them and it still works like it usually would. It shows up in their relationship and we know that Tatiana is feeling satisfied with Dominic J and while I'm here there's also another small mod by Lumpino again <laughs> treating us with a lot of mods about satisfaction as well which actually allows you to have no decay for your satisfaction because usually it will go down with time but this mod actually stops it so only interactions between your sims affect it. Now that Tatiana has a partner I want to go into create a sim to look into another mod by L Sims World which is attachment style. So you have a couple of traits that you give your sim in create a sim and they will determine their attachment styles. So let's look at those. This is actually not a mod that is specific related to love struggle but I thought that it kind of adds a little bit more depth to it so I wanted to include it here but we have anxious attachment sims with an anxious attachment style crave closeness and reassurance they often worry about their relationships and need frequent validation from the other side to feel secure we have avoidment attachment sims with an avoidment attachment style value their independence and often feel uncomfortable with too much closeness they may keep others at a distance to protect themselves disorganized attachment style sims with a disorganized attachment style display unpredictable behavior in relationships. They may fluctuate between seeking closeness and pushing others away, often due to past trauma or inconsistent caregiving. And the final one is a secure attachment. Sims with a secure attachment style are confident and comfortable in their relationships. They form healthy trusting bonds with others and are adept to balancing independence with intimacy. And I think I'll give Tatiana anxious attachment because some styles have a little bit more to them than others so I think that this one would be really good to actually properly show off the mod. So let's take a look at that mod in action. If we go into her partner, we actually have a completely new pie menu, which is attachment styles, and she can cry for attention, discuss fear of abandonment. I think that most or all of them see her crying for attention. I think that most or all of them have moodlets attached to them, so we'll look at that. Express insecurity. Let's take a look at the moodlet. So boohoo from crying for attention. Tatiana feels like a big crybaby, but she can't help it. Having her partner's attention is kind of a big deal. And I think that she 
she's currently expressing some insecurities and he says appreciate your being honest about your insecurities you have nothing to feel ashamed about so depending on your sims attachment style they will have different interactions possible and their partners actually respond to them and she has moodlet so because she discussed her abandonment issues she's feeling kind of scared talking about her fear of abandonment has made titiana feel scared about being alone all over again will her partner leave eventually she might actually push him away right now because i will actually have a go into cupid's corner again and look into other sims that she has saved so why don't we actually go and create a date with kenzo but unfortunately we will actually invite dominic to it so kenzo just arrived let's say hello brighten his day start off as friendly but we do have her partner here watching but maybe because it is a date she will go and kiss his hands and do a bit of flirting right in front of her current partner and let's see how he's gonna be reacting to that maybe throwing in a little flirt as well i'm sure that he's not gonna be very happy he's already looking really angry which is leading us to another one of lumpino's mods which is fixing up the auto breakup thing because it gives you a little bit more options so you can actually say no to a breakup which is really helpful for storytelling or you can say yes or randomize there's also a base game version of it so if you don't have love struck you can still use that feature see he's starting to feel kind of heartbroken because this is just not happening it's not oh they have a strained relationship now of course but see her partner is starting to feel heartbroken because she's flirting with someone else and this actually did trigger his boundaries so he is threatening that he will actually break up with her see he's having these threats and he's thinking about a breakup and he did actually decide that he wants to end this relationship and like i said we have an option to say yes no or randomize and actually in this case i'm gonna say no just so we see what happens dominic decided to let tatiana off the hook for now but she is continuing to flirt and actually he immediately decided to go and break up again and this time i'm gonna let him so oh as soon as they're having the first kiss and he actually broke up with her so they're now officially breaking up what a messy situation while tatiana is having her extremely messy date i'm gonna be switching to her teen sister jasmine at home and show off another mod by lumpino which is actually cupid's corner for teenagers and it's exactly as it sounds we can actually go into Cupid's Corner with a teenager which I had no idea that they actually can't do I haven't realized that but here it is it looks just like normal but when you go into matches it's only showing you teenage sims which is just absolutely amazing it's really helpful not only for dating but also for just meeting other teen friends so that is just absolutely amazing and it is compatible with the less limitations so you can see that she has 21 matches available and like all the refreshes that she wants but let's say for example that I wanted to go on a date with Sydney I'm gonna save you into my contacts and create a date again it kind of functions as normal you have get to know date romantic date romantic repair date but the pictures are different they're a little bit more teen appropriate and if you go into actually setting up the date everything is still normal you can invite guests and you can do all of the activities all of them are the same except one woohoo is replaced with mess around because that's specifically an activity teen sims can do but these are all the mods that i have for you today let me know if you enjoyed this video let me know which mods do you find the most helpful and would you like me to do another one of these where it's more like general romance because this is all really love struck specific but i have a lot of mods for improving romance in general which i would love to do so let me know if you would like to see that give this video a like if you found it helpful and if you like to see more and if you haven't subscribed already subscribe so you don't miss any future ones thank you so much for watching bye